Welcome back to Sarah's Bites, everyone. Today we're gonna to be making this super quick and easy to make buffalo chicken dip. It's perfect for Super Bowl Sunday or for really any game day or party or event you may host. So let's dive into the recipe. We'll start off by shredding or chopping up two large chicken breasts. Now you can cook your own chicken breasts or use a rotisserie chicken like I did here because that way I could just end up using the rest of the rotisserie chicken later on. And you can also use a food processor or a mixer to make these very, very small pieces. I just like to do it by hand. In a large saucepan on low heat, go ahead and melt together one eight ounce block of cream cheese with a quarter cup of blue cheese dressing. You guys can also use blue cheese crumbles, or if you're not a blue cheese fan at all, go ahead and substitute that for ranch dressing. As soon as that cream cheese starts to melt, go ahead and add in three quarters of a cup of hot buffalo sauce. If you like your dip to be a bit thicker consistency, do just half a cup. It'll take the cream cheese a couple of minutes to completely melt in that pan. Just make sure you're stirring frequently on medium heat and try not to go any higher because you don't want the cheese to stick to the bottom. Now I'll have all these ingredients listed below in the description and on my website at sarahsbites.com. Now we'll add in half a cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese and I did go ahead and shred my own. Um, you can use the bag one as well and play around with any type of cheese that you guys like. I just find that sharp cheddar does tend to work best in this recipe. And I ended up using a whisk here just to make the dip a little bit more smooth and give it a better consistency. And last but not least, we're gonna add in all that chicken to the sauce, and you're gonna season it with half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Give everything a nice good stir, make sure all that chicken is coated with the sauce and everything is incorporated together and mixed well together. Transfer the dip to an oven safe dish and go ahead and sprinkle another half a cup of sharp cheddar on top. You're gonna bake this at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or so or until you see the cheese to sort of form a crust on top and start to bubble. I love to serve the dip with chips or even crackers while it's still warm and pretty fresh out of the oven. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please give me a thumbs up below if you enjoyed watching the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.